More small businesses are able to do something they once thought would be impossible, export. And the decision to expand sales overseas has created a financial lifeline for some of them. Kate Rogers has more on the rise of the so-called micro-multinationals. Exporting has brought Gelb Music, an institution in Redwood City, California, since 1939, back from the brink. The brick and mortar took a stab at selling products overseas seven years ago on eBay amidst construction and slowing growth. Sales started out small at around $250,000 in year one. Today, nearly 30% of its business comes from exports. eBay saved the store. Uh, we had some slow times at the store. Uh, we had some construction going on, uh, sales a dip. Uh, that's when we started putting a lot more products into eBay, and uh, it really saved the store. We did about $750,000 uh, that one year. Um, and now, with the global shipping program that's come about, now we can reach other areas of the world that we would never have reached in the first place. So, and the repeat customers too. Having a global footprint may be a goal for many U.S. small businesses, but unfortunately for most, it's not a reality. Data from the International Trade Administration shows less than 5% of American small businesses are shipping their goods overseas. Now, e-commerce platforms are helping small businesses to expand their reach globally, breaking down exporting barriers like language differences and regulations, according to a new report from eBay. eBay finds that in 2014, 90% of the small and medium-sized businesses that sell on its site are exporting. More than 190,000 of the businesses reach consumers on four or more continents. In 2009, less than 30,000 were exporting to at least 15 country markets. Gelb Music now has customers all over the globe, with repeat customers in unlikely places, as far as the Middle East. eBay says 80% of its sellers now reach five or more markets. Small businesses once struggled to find customers overseas and ran the risk of not getting paid upon exporting, says Todd McCracken, president of the National Small Business Association. With these e-commerce platforms like eBay, they solve both of those at once. They're helping you find customers by using their net marketing channels and uh, they help assure you get paid by, by, the, uh, by, by the tools they have. Of course, eBay is hardly the only game in town. Other e-commerce platforms, including Amazon, Etsy, and Alibaba, all boast a global reach. However, the sites would not provide comparable exporter numbers. Given the reach of those four platforms alone, it's likely the small business exporting trend will continue. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.